Imagine this. Phones stop loading. Messages don't send. Maps don't update. Payment screens freeze. Across cities, millions of people are suddenly offline. At the same time, nothing explodes. Nothing goes dark. The world just hesitates. Only later do we understand what actually failed. Not the internet itself, but the invisible systems we built our lives on. At first, it doesn't feel dramatic. There is no warning sound, no global alert, no single moment where everything collapses. Most people assume it's temporary, a glitch, a bad signal. They refresh, restart, wait. But minutes pass, then hours. And slowly, something becomes clear. This isn't local. It isn't regional. It's everywhere. The internet isn't just entertainment. It's coordination. When it stops, work slows almost immediately. Meetings vanish. Logins fail. Remote systems freeze in place. Payments become uncertain. Card terminals stop responding. ATMs fall silent. Not because money disappeared, but because trust did. We don't remember phone numbers anymore. We don't know directions without maps. We don't know where things are unless something tells us. For the first time in decades, people have information, but no way to move it. Cities begin to feel strange. Traffic still exists, but it hesitates. Trains pause at platforms longer than they should. Delivery trucks wait for instructions that never arrive. Supply chains don't collapse loudly. They store quietly. Food doesn't vanish, but coordination does. Warehouses can't confirm orders. Stores can't restock efficiently. Everything becomes slower, heavier, manual. The world hasn't broken. It's just lost its nervous system. People start adjusting. Awkwardly, they talk to strangers for directions, write notes by hand, use cash if they have it. Not out of nostalgia, out of necessity. Without constant updates, time feels different. Hours stretch, waiting becomes visible again. Some people feel anxious, others feel oddly calm. For the first time in years, many are fully present, not because they chose to be, but because there's nowhere else to go. What's unsettling isn't how fast things stopped. It's how much of life depended on something no one ever saw. We didn't build our world on concrete or steel alone. We built it on signals, sinking, shared awareness. And when that vanished, we realized how little redundancy we had. After 24 hours, the internet would return. Messages would flood in. Maps would recalculate. Systems would resync. But the feeling wouldn't vanish so easily. Because for one quiet day, we'd see the truth clearly. The modern world doesn't run on electricity or machines. It runs on connection. So we didn't lose the internet that day. We just lost the illusion that it was optional. <laughs>